kicking off the new year with wet and cold weather, CHP wants drivers to be prepared for when they be on the road ahead. I'm Avery Elowit, your neighborhood reporter in Lebec. I spoke with Officer DC Williams with CHP about how drivers can best prepare to hit the road. A go bag. It's just something that when you're traveling during the winter time, especially the grapevine, that way you're prepared in case you get stuck in traffic or you get stuck in a closure. One of the essentials when it comes to traveling through the mountain communities preparing for unruly weather, road closures, and whatever lies ahead. We see people getting stuck if we do have to shut things down for at least several hours. Uh, sometimes it can be even longer than that and go for a day or two. But if that's the case, we try to turn people around and get them to someplace a lot safer than being stuck on the roadway. So when you prepare to pack up and go, here are some of the things the CHP recommends bringing with you. Make sure they've got a full tank of gas and make sure they've got the extra water, snacks, blankets in their car in case they get stuck for, for a little bit. On top of preparing a go bag, CHP says to check that your vehicle is in tip top shape before hitting the road. To make sure that you've, your windshield wipers are in good working order, your tires are in good working or in good condition, you've got the tread depth. Oftentimes, CHP does not know if they will need to shut down the grapevine until the time comes. We can't predict when we're gonna shut the freeway down. It depends on the weather, it depends on the buildup of ice on the roadway. But there are a few ways drivers can try to stay on top of road closures. If we're doing escorts, there's a good chance we're going to be getting close to shutting things down. So that's where you start getting the information as to what's leading up to a possible freeway closure. One common cause for accidents on the grapevine results from hydroplaning. Officer Williams says to drive slow and keep a big gap between you and the driver in front of you. It's not because of the snow that we shut it down, it's because of the ice because a lot of cars have tires where they can't get the traction. And if you do start to lose traction, do not slam on the brakes or make any abrupt turns. In this situation, the CHP says your safest bet is to slowly move your foot off of the gas. Another common misconception is when to and when not to use chains. We never use chains on the freeways. The only time we use chains is when you're going to the back roads. And so say you're going up to go play in the snow, you're gonna to wanna to have chains with you in case we are doing a chain check. Overall, if you plan on traveling through the mountain communities. We never use chains on the freeways. The only time we use chains is when you're going to the back roads. And so say you're going up to go play in the snow, you're gonna to wanna to have chains with you in case we are doing a chain check. We will have a list on our website, turnit23.com, on how to best prepare to travel in the winter weather. In Lebec, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Avery Elowit.